Hi and welcome to Baking Butterly Love. My name is Katie and in this video I want to show you how to make this easy flower pot cake. Okay, so the first thing I did was to mix up some of this orangey sort of terracotta colored buttercream. Now this is actually a chocolate buttercream, so it had a bit of color to it already, but I've done this with regular vanilla buttercream before and you, um, that works just as well. Um, so this chocolate buttercream was already brown, so all I had to do was just add a bit of red and yellow food coloring, but if you were starting with vanilla, you'd want to do red, yellow, and brown. And then you can see here, it actually matches these real terracotta pots pretty well. Well. Uh, but the real pots do have a bit of color variation though so I'm gonna go ahead and make a lighter shade of this terracotta color and then I'll use that as an accent. So I'm just taking a bit of the um, terracotta color and mixing that in with some plain vanilla buttercream. And I've already stacked and crumb coated my cake. You can see here the original chocolate color. Uh, and you just want to start off coating your cake with a nice even layer of frosting. Smooth it out, but don't worry about getting it perfect. Once you get the base layer done, go back with a small spatula and add the lighter shade of buttercream. Just spread it um, a bit randomly all around the cake. The goal here is just to get a subtle color variation. Once you have that lighter shade um, applied all around the cake, then take a straight sided scraper and do one last pass around to smooth things out. Uh, and you can go back in and fill in any gaps as needed. Now this is the hardest part, um, creating the lip of the pot. Fill a piping bag with whatever leftovers you have of the terracotta colored buttercream and then pipe a nice thick line around the top of the cake. Then take your small offset spatula and scrape really gently along that line to flatten it out. For the top, scrape gently from the outside edge towards the center to remove any excess frosting along the edges. You can also uh, push down a little bit and create an indent to use as a guideline for later when you fill in with your flowers. At this point, I like to chill the cake in the fridge for about 10 or 20 minutes just so that the buttercream can firm up a bit before I go back and fix the bottom edge of that lip. Alright, now that my cake is chilled, I'm going to use my spatula again to clean up that lip on the top of the pot. Um, so what you can do is actually dip your spatula in hot water, dry it off with a clean towel, and then your spatula will be nice and hot and it'll be easier to remove the excess buttercream. And this is optional, but if you end up making a mess around the bottom of your pot like I did, you can go back in with a small scraper to smooth it out again. I'm actually using a piece of acetate, which is kind of like a plastic film that you can use for food, but anything that you can cut short enough that it won't hit the lip of the pot uh, will work. So maybe like a piece of plastic or a piece of cardboard. All right, so now we're getting on to the fun parts. To make the dirt, I'm actually just going to crumble up some leftover chocolate cupcakes that I had. These were from a recipe fail, but the cake still tastes good, so that's okay. You could also use crumbled up cookies, or I even used chocolate graham crackers before. Anything that you can crumble up to look like dirt is fine. And you just want to spread your dirt around the top of the cake, but leave a gap around that outside edge. For the flowers, I'm going to be using a light blue, a pink, and a purple buttercream. This is all Swiss meringue buttercream, and they're all fitted with a tip number 224. 
for the leaves I have a green buttercream with a tip number 67 and I also made this yellow which I kind of forgot to use uh, so whoops I'm, I meant to do centers with that and I completely forgot um, but if you wanted to pipe centers for your flowers just use a small round tip so I'm going to pipe my flowers in little mounds around the top of the cake, but I'm gonna pipe a few leaves on the very bottom first, um, just cause it's easier to pipe those leaves before you get the flowers down. So with this leaf tip, you wanna give the bag a pretty good squeeze. Otherwise you might have some trouble getting the buttercream to stick um, because you have that sort of crumbly surface. It's not gonna stay attached. Um, so squeeze a little harder and make that leaf thicker at the bottom before you start to pull away. Then for the flowers, pick out whatever color you want and squeeze out a big mound of buttercream. It doesn't matter what this looks like because the next thing you're gonna do is cover it with a bunch of small flowers. So with this tip, the number 224, um, it's a drop flower tip, which I actually showed you in my last video. And to use this style of tip, you wanna just do small short squeezes and then kind of twist the tip a little as you pull away. So this motion is going to create little star-shaped flowers. You can vary the size of your little flower clusters and play around with how you space them out. Um, you can also go back in with the leaf tip and fill in with a few more leaves once the flowers are finished. So definitely have fun with this cake design. You could really change things up so much by playing around with the colors or by even using different piping tips. And if you wanted to see some other ideas for the drop flowers, make sure you go and watch that last video I was talking about um, because in that video I used a few different piping tips for this same technique. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. And if you enjoyed watching this, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss out on any of my future cake decorating tips and tutorials.